Carlos Sainz Jr. is geared up for his maiden outing with the Renault Formula One team at next weekend's United States Grand Prix, but is under no illusions for the challenge he faces. Renault confirmed the signing of Red Bull Jr. Sainz on loan for the 2018 season back in Singapore, but struck a deal to secure him for the final four races of the current season following Jolly and Palmer's departure. Sainz has only raced for Red Bull B-Team Toro Rosso in F1 so far, making his move to a factory operation a significant step up. Despite relishing the opportunity to embed himself early in Renault, Sainz is well aware of the challenge that is to come as he looks to get up to speed in the Renault RS17 car at the Circuit of the Americas. I'm very excited to joining the team and I hope to hit the ground running. We have some hard work ahead of us going into Austin with lots of things to learn and many people to meet, Sainz said. I'm going to give everything to be on the pace as soon as possible even though I know it can take a bit of time to adapt but I'm confident we can do it. It's key to have this immediate taste with Renault and get to know the people in the car. It's a big challenge, but it motivates me. We have this last push for the season and I have to find where the limit of the car is, get used to the steering wheel, things like that. That's the procedure and I will embrace the challenge. It's good to see the people at Enstone putting the work in to get back to the top. They can be sure all the effort being put in is being matched on my side of things and I will be pushing flat out to help the team. Follow at Luke Smith won in more than 20 years of drag racing, 2013 NHRA top fuel champion Sean Langdon had never sat in a funny car until last week. He better get used to it quick though, as hell pivot from driving a top fuel dragster for Kalita Motorsports to being behind the wheel of a funny car for Kalita in 2018. The team announced Langdon's switch from top fuel to funny car in 2018 on Friday afternoon at Texas Motor Speedway, site of this weekend's Texas Fall Nationals. I never even sat in a funny car until last week when they put the body down on me for the first time, Langdon said. It's a pretty crazy feeling, a lot different than sitting in a dragster. There's definitely going to be a big learning curve, but I'm up for the challenge. Langdon will replace Alexis Dehoria, who is retiring from the team at season's end to spend more time with her family. In making the switch, Langdon could potentially be on his way to joining one of the NHRA's most exclusive clubs. Only three drivers in NHRA history have won championships in both Top Fuel and Funny Car Kenny Bernstein, Gary Selsey and Del Worsham. Now, Langdon, who will team with J.R. Todd in driving Kalitta Motorsports' two Funny Car entries, has a chance to do the same starting in 2018. That would be awesome, Langdon told Motorsports Doc. It's a great opportunity. I'm very thankful for Kalitta Motorsports and Stephen and Samantha Bryson of Global Electronic Technology. Langdon, who won the 2013 Top Fuel title for Alan Johnson and the former Alan Abbey Racing Team, will continue to be sponsored in a funny car by the current sponsor of his dragster, Global Electronic Technology, of Torrance, California. Langdon, who has 14 career wins, 18 number one qualifiers and 239 round wins and 202 career top fuel starts, will have his funny car led by championship winning tuners Nicky Bunn and Funty 2015, Del Worsham and Tommy DeLago 2011, Matt Hagen. I'm a competitive person by nature, Langdon said. If there's a challenge there, he'll figure it one way or other. I'm very excited about the opportunity and to race in the funny car class. I never thought I'd be driving a funny car, but when the opportunity presented itself, it made a lot of sense. If you pay me to race a golf cart, it doesn't matter. I want to race, I'm very thankful for the opportunity just to be doing this for a living. You figure out what you want me to race and I will race it and give you my best 100% effort in whatever car you want. I just want to be competing. Admittedly, it's been a rough few years for Langdon. Two years after winning the top fuel title in 2013, Alan Abbey shut down when its primary sponsor backed out. Langdon caught on with Don Schumacher racing last season and remained there until early this season before team operations were suspended due to lack of sponsorship. Kalita Motorsports brought him on shortly thereafter to drive a third dragster and now Langdon is ready to write the next chapter of his drag racing career. For whatever reason, it's always seemed to work out, I have no idea why, Langdon said. I'm not a driver that comes from a wealthy family, I don't have money behind me that I'm bringing to the table, I don't have a plethora of sponsorships that I can bring to the table. I've just been very fortunate, very lucky. Follow at Jerry Bankowski.